Hi guys, it's Alicia again. So, what I'm going to be doing in this video is doing a get ready with me uh, makeup tutorial. And um, I'm going to be doing an eyeshadow look with this Basic Bitch MAC palette. So, it's going to be more of a cool tone look today. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I normally do my eyeshadow first in case there's any fallout, which there is a little bit with this palette. It's nothing too crazy, but... You know, I still uh, just do my eyes just in case. But first, I'm going to go in with some primer. I'm going to take the Catrice Prime and Fine Smoothing Refiner. And I'm just going to be putting this all on my T-zone. This is a really, really nice primer. It's duped for the um, um, Tarte, I think it was called Clean Slate Primer. I don't have that one. I've never used it, but um, this is supposed to be a dupe for it. So yeah, I just take this all over here. I do my primer so it can like sit while I'm uh, doing my eyeshadow. I've already moisturized my skin. Now I'm taking the NYX Hydro Touch Primer. I take that on the outer perimeter of my face. I always need to go in with a hydrating primer, otherwise it's going to be bad. Because <laughs> I have dry skin. I, it's not as dry as it was. It was getting pretty bad for a while. Now it's not as bad as it was, thank God. I don't know what happened. I think it was just the weather, it being winter and everything. But okay, now I'm going to let that sit and I'm going to be taking my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and just putting that all over my lids. I love this primer. It's pretty new to my collection, but I've pretty quickly fallen in love with it. I'm just using this um, Collab Beauty concealer brush to tap it in. I never use this brush for concealer. I never use any brush for concealer. I just feel like it applies better on my skin with a beauty uh, sponge. So yeah, but there is that. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the Basic Bitch palette. And I'm going to be first taking um, the shade Miss Personality, which is this one right here. I'm going to put that into the crease. Like I said, there's a little bit of fallout with this one, so I just tap my brush off and then it's usually okay from there. But yeah, I'm just putting this all up in the crease. Kind of fluffing it everywhere. I feel like I do a pretty basic look with this eyeshadow palette, but at the same time, it's not really that basic looking. Like, it looks pretty, um, it can look pretty intense depending on how heavy I put the eyeshadow on. And it'll look really, really nicely, too. Okay, so now I'm going to take the, sh the shade under that, which is called Big White Lie. It's this one right here. And I'm going to do the same thing with that shade, just a little bit in the crease. Getting a pretty intense crease going on today. But it's going to match the rest of the shadow, so... I love this palette. I just don't use it that often. I don't know why. I just kind of forget that I have it sometimes. Even though it's a really good one. I think maybe it's the color selection is why I don't always use it. Because, you know, you pretty much come up with the same looks with it every time. Which is kind of a downer with it. But if you like the shades, then I would say it's worth it. And I really do love the shades. Um, I don't regret buying this palette at all. Even though I don't use it all the time. Okay, now I'm going to be taking the shade Text Me Later. Which is this big gray one right up here. And I'm just going to be taking that just in like the outer V area. Just kind of blending it up. Blending it up into the crease just a little bit. the other side I 
Yeah, I really just want to do a look with this palette, because like I said, it's I don't use it all the time. It's been a little while since I've actually used it. Um, and I just really like the look I get with it, because it's just so pretty, and it's like my kind of style. Now I'm going to be taking this like maroon shade, which is called Helen Heels, right there. I'm going to be taking that more on the lid a little bit, like in the center. Okay, right there. This one, I don't like do as heavy, like it doesn't show up as well, but I feel like it adds some nice extra color to my look that I do with this. I just really like that color. <laughs> like it's a really, really pretty color. I would totally do a look with this like all over the lid. I just never done it because there's a look that I do with this that I really, really enjoy. So I like doing that. <laughs> okay, and now I'm going to be taking um, my dual ended naked two brush. Oh, by the way, the one I was using before was Elizabeth Mott tapered blending brush. I got this in an Ipsy bag um, a long time ago. Dropping brushes on the floor. <laughs> And I'm going to be taking that black shade called Game Player, which is right there. I'm putting this on the outer V and blending it up into the crease a little bit. So as you can tell, we're going for a decently smoky look today. Which, when I do this palette, I typically enjoy doing that kind of look because it's pretty easy to get that with this and I just like the way it looks okay now I'm just gonna be blending that up a little bit so it's not like too intense I'm just going to be kind of blending everything and make sure it, making sure it's all blended because you don't want it to not be blended. This is the only MAC palette I've ever owned. I've never tried any of the other MAC shadows. I don't know if they're good or not. I really do like all the stuff I've tried from MAC though. So far I've just tried their palette, um, the paint pot. And MAC Fix Plus, which I love so much. <laughs> and um, now I'm going to be taking the shade Sly Girl, which is right here. Putting this all over the lid. It's a really, really pretty color. You can't really see what it looks like. I go kind of heavy with this shade because it's just so pretty. I just love it so much. <laughs> like, I think the two shimmers in this palette are probably my favorite. Oh, and another uh, MAC product I've tried that I really like is a lip scrub. I got it um, on sale um, one time, and that's how I tried it. Um, I don't know if I would buy if it wasn't on sale. I mean, it's not bad. It's pretty good, but I, I have plenty other lip scrubs that I've tried that I like from, you know, other brands that are cheaper. Now I'm going to take the shade Tattletail right there, which is just like a lighter version. This is mostly just like a glitter topper. I'm just going to be putting that, like, right above it. Toward my inner tear duct. I love these two shades. They're just so pretty. Okay. And now I'm just... My stupid light. Make sure it's all blended still. Alright, so now I am going to be taking the highlight shade, which is called Love This Bitch, right here. 
um, and highlight my brow bone with it. This is a really nice highlighter. Okay, and now, actually I'm going to take that same brush. This is the AOA Studio um, E123 brush. It is a really, really, really nice brush. It's only a dollar on the Shop Miss A website. I love that website. Okay, now I'm going to be taking the shade Me, 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 which is this white right up here. And I'm going to be putting that in the inner corner. And I'm going to spray my brush with some Fix Plus, which I love doing. And put some of that highlight on top, I think. Just to add a little bit more shine. Okay, and now I'm just going to clean up under here. Because like I said, there is a little bit of fallout. Mostly with the darker shades. I mean, that's kind of expected. And then with the glitter topper a little bit, there's a little bit of fallout. But that's just why I do my eye looks before. I'm add a little bit of more than this because I got kind of lost with that inner corner shade. Okay. And that is the eyeshadow look all complete. I don't know if you can really see it, but now I am going to start with my foundation, which today I am using my Rimmel Lasty Finish 25 Hour Wear. The only thing I hate about this is the packaging because you have to out some of the product like on a palette or on your hand I just use my hand okay and now I'm just gonna go ahead and press that in it's my beauty sponge I do have a foundation brush that I do like when I do use foundation brushes but I just don't use um foundation brushes all the time like I find that it looks better on my skin if I apply foundation with a sponge because I have such dry skin. I feel like it just looks better that way. Although when I do um, use a brush, I have one that I do really like. And that does work really well. It's just I don't use it all the time. And I plan to do a video about my brushes. And I want to get that up here soon. Another video... But I also plan to be doing very soon is a Ulta haul unboxing. I ordered not a lot, but a few things off of Ulta um, the other day. And it should, I think that was quite a bit too much. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, I'm expecting it here within the next couple days or so. So when I get that in, I'm probably going to do an unboxing video with that. Because as you know, they're having their 21 days of beauty sale. I mean, if you do um, shop, at, shop at Ulta, you probably know that. And Ulta is my favorite like beauty store to shop at. I don't really shop at Sephora all that much. I feel like I get better um points well Ulta does have a way better reward system than Sephora does so I just typically like to shop there because of that so that is why I do unless there's something I can't get at Ulta then I will get it at Sephora but that just doesn't happen all the time so okay now I'm going to take my Catrice liquid camouflage concealer this is in the shade light natural and I'm just going to be Putting a little bit. I don't really use a whole lot because I feel like when I do my concealer can get kind of caked up. 
This is a really, really nice concealer, though. Like, I don't really feel like it does it that bad. And it blends out really nicely. And as the name of it suggests, like with camouflage, it is a very, very high coverage concealer. Which is great if you have imperfections you're trying to hide. I have really dark under eyes. I didn't used to. But I do now. I have had dark under eyes for a while, but now they're even worse. <laughs> because I have a three-month-old baby. Which I do get to sleep, like, more than I expected I would be able to, honestly. So it's not that bad. But, you know, I'm still kind of tired. Because <laughs> I do still have a baby. But now I'm taking the uh, ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter in the shade Lunch Money. I love, love, love this highlight. It's probably my all-time favorite highlight right now. I'm just really into it. I put this on pretty much on no matter what look I'm wearing for the most part. I do have a Pacifica um, Rainbow Crystals Liquid Highlighter that I also really, really enjoy. And I'll either use both of these in conjunction with each other or you know, I'll just use one. And I do use that one quite a lot too. I just really, really enjoy it. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Fair Light. Taking some of that. And... Just setting my face. This is my favorite way to apply powder. Because powder and my skin don't always mix. <laughs> but... If, I, if I'm using loose powder, I like to apply it with a wet sponge because I feel like it makes my skin look so much better than if I just use a brush. I do use a brush sometimes, but my favorite way is definitely with a sponge. A sponge is my best friend when it comes to makeup, like hands down. be using my Milani Sun Kiss Silky Matte Bronzer in the shade Sun Kissed. I'm going to be using my Real Techniques Powder Brush. I use this for bronzer most of the time. I'm going to be using this and like stamp some on the forehead just a little bit. Try not to use too much bronzer because I know I don't need too much. I mean, I'm not tan by any means, but I am thinking about tanning in the summer, though, because I love to tan. And I tried tanning last summer, and the reason why I couldn't continue was because pretty much right after I started going and I got a tan, I found out I was pregnant and I had to stop. So, now I'm taking the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Quirky. Just put down the apples on my cheeks. I'm really growing to like this blush. This is the first time I've ever had it. It's a little sample, and I'm really, really starting to like it, I think. Okay, um, now I'm going to be taking the highlight shade in that MAC palette, and I'm going to be using this Ulta Beauty Tapered Highlighting Brush. Do that. And just go over that color pop shade that I used because I want a little bit more intense. Sometimes after I'm done with my makeup, um, and I use the color pop one like before I put any powder or stuff on, I'll go back over and use some more just to make the look a little bit more intense. But sometimes I'll just go in with a powder highlight as well which I actually really really like that look I put a lot of highlight like all over my face not all over but I do use a lot of highlight I just love that like glowy look and I just love it okay so now I am 
going to be using my essence eyebrow designer pencil i'm just gonna be filling in these brows just a little bit i don't really know if i care for this pencil that much i mean it's not bad but i don't know if i would buy it again i actually just got my eyebrows done like um a couple weeks ago and that was my first time going and getting them professionally done. <laughs> and I think I might keep doing it unless I can maintain them pretty good at home, which I normally do. I normally do them myself. But my sister-in-law wanted to get her eyebrows done with me. So she talked me into it. Um, okay, so now I'm taking the Essence to Make Me Brow Gel. The only thing with this is when I use it, I need to, like, take it on a tissue or something and just kind of get some of that product off. Because if I go right into it, it's really intense. And I don't like my brows to be that intense. I like a more natural look. This is a really great brow product, though, if you want, like, a brow gel. It's only, like, $3, which is, you know, something you can't beat. Gosh, I am just dropping things everywhere. Okay, so now the brows are done. Now the only things I have left to do, um, right here, is my eyeliner, mascara, and then a lip product. So I'm going to be taking the Flower Beauty Vinyl Eyes um, Retractable Liner in black or black shade and I'm just going to be putting this all on the waterline I have the um, Maybelline Lasting Drama matte eyeliner in their black shade also that is another retractable retractable one I have not tried it yet um, I'm I have it on backup for when I'm out of this one, which I am almost out. So when I run out of this one, I will try it, see if I like it. I believe it is a couple dollars cheaper than this one. But I got it for free, actually, when I made an Ulta order a while back. Now I'm taking this Essence Waterproof Liner Pen, also in their black shade, on the top one. Um... Yeah, I made an Ulta order a while back, and uh, I got it for free because I was also buying a powder, the Fit Me powder, and then um, I bought a Maybelline hydrating primer, which I haven't used it either. I have that on backup for when I run out of my hydrating primers I have now, which this one is getting low. You can kind of tell. <laughs> um, now I'm going to take in the A Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. But yeah, I got it for free because Ulta was having a sale for Maybelline products. Was buy two, get one free. So, heck yeah. I got a new eyeliner for free. And I really, really wanted to try that powder, which I am loving this powder. <laughs> I think it is my favorite loose powder now. Um, I also really enjoy the Cody Airspun. I have that one. I use that one a lot, too. But I think I like this Maybelline one even more. So I'm really glad that I got that. And then, like I said, I always use a hydrating primer. So that's something that I could always use. So the fact that I got something I can always use is something that I wanted try it really bad and then got something for free that I also could really use that's pretty nice so yeah all right now I am going to be using this is my favorite liquid lipstick I have my um, L'Oreal infallible the chocolate scented line which these do smell absolutely delicious 
I'm using the shade Candyman, which is my favorite. I have two other shades as well. I have Box of Chocolate and Dose of Cocoa. I have a um, video up on my channel already of all my lip products. Um, if you want to see other ones I have. But I love this shade. And like I said, I love the scent. Okay. It does take a few minutes to dry down fully. Um, after you put it on, after a couple minutes of putting it on, it gets pretty um, sticky, but then it dries down pretty well. So I'm going to take Mac Fix Plus. Just to kind of melt that powder in. And now... I'm taking my Wet n Wild Natural Finish Setting Spray to lock everything in. You don't need many sprays of this, that's for sure. It spits out a lot of product. And the smell of this is absolutely awful. Reminds me of their uh, foundation, the Photo Focus Foundation. I mean, this is in their Photo Focus line. So it makes sense if it stinks, but it works. So, and this little guy's only like 4 or $5. So right on but yeah okay so this is the finished look I'm really really liking this makeup right now I think it's looking really really good um so yeah if there's any like tutorials you would like me to do on any other palettes I know I kind of went over what I did with this one if you would like to see me do that with any others just let me know and I will do that um, like I said before, I'm getting a couple new palettes in my collection. I already have a new one that I didn't have in my um, eyeshadow palette collection video. I will totally be putting that on my channel at some point. And then, yeah, if you want to see any other um, get ready with me's or just tutorials or anything, just let me know and I'll be willing to do them. Alright, so I think that's all for this video. Don't mind my hair, by the way. I just had to hold it back for <laughs> the makeup. Um, alright, so that's all for this video. If there's anything else you'd like me to do, just let me know. Thank you for watching. Bye.